Hi, good morning everyone. This is JP Tong at Kachara Forest Retreat, Malaysia. And today is day 19th of Mindful Morning Meditation. How is everyone doing this morning? We'll wait a few seconds for everyone to tune in. Hi, morning, David. I hope everyone had a good rest from last night because um, I did a sharing at, um, about paranormal activities under Tam Rinpoche Paranormal Zone fan page. If you have missed that, do look out for it. And uh, once you're at the fan page, do click like to subscribe, okay? Hi, morning, Tawubi. Good morning. Morning, Pastor Honey. We'll just wait for a few seconds and as we're waiting, you can do a bit of stretching and relax. Roll your shoulders a little bit. Yep, just stretch a little bit because we will be meditating for 15 minutes. So you'd like to relax and get comfortable, sit on a cushion or a chair or a sofa and um, again, always make sure that your seat is firm so that you don't have to try so hard to prop yourself up. Morning Zin Koi, thank you very much for tuning in again. We'll wait for a few more seconds. Morning, King Hoi. Morning, Jace. Oh, wait, JC. JC. Hi, morning, JC. Hi, Penny. Good morning. I can't believe how time flies. It's already Friday, and two more days after, we will start with the 20 minutes single pointed meditation. I can't wait uh, for all of us to progress to that level. So, uh, yeah. Hi, morning, Antoinette. Pastor Antoinette, morning. Hi, Lily, good morning. That's, it's very strange. I realized that there's some of you that for some reason, um, I can't see you guys. And I don't know why. I have a friend who, whenever she writes, long messages it doesn't show up on the comment section i don't understand why but when she says hi i can see it so very strange hi peg chong hi past um dr hank good morning Kotlin. we'll wait a few more seconds and we shall start shortly so you know stretch yourself a little bit as we're waiting, roll your shoulders, get comfortable, get comfortable, and try to find your center so that you don't pre put pressure on your legs and you will not feel numbness as a result. Morning, Sharon. Hi, morning, Munting. Good morning, Tony Vajra, a.k.a. Kenneth. Hi, hi morning, Lai Hing and Frank. Thank you very much for tuning in. Ben, morning. I think we're pretty much there and we shall start in a few seconds. Hi, Corinne, morning. Okay, so let's get started again. Um, we will do this breathing meditation first. Then after that, we will do the 15 minutes, single pointed. And after that, I will answer a few more questions that were sent to me yesterday. Then um, I will talk about taking ownership and what that is all about. And here we go. Let's start. Okay, so get comfortable. Now, left palm up. 
thumb down, wrap your thumb with your fingers, put your fist under your armpit, right hand over your left nostril, breathe in slowly, and out. Breathe in. And breathe out all the way, gently. And breathe in. And out. Right. Hand up, thumb down, fingers over your thumb, put your fist under your left armpit, left hand over your right nostril, breathe in, out, breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Out. Both palms on your thighs. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Great. Morning, Christina. I'm glad you managed to wake up after last night's paranormal sharing. Hi, morning, Has uh, Halim, Natasha. Good evening. Hi, Shireen Lee. Hi, Adeline. Hi, morning, Norman. Thank you very much for tuning in again. Morning, Andrew. How's things in uh, Bali? <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> um, we will leave the the, uh, the sharing later because we will we will I would like to hear again hear from what you have put in your gratitude journal and uh, do share that would be very nice and also do share with me about your meditation experience so far. And uh, if there are any other topics that you would like me to talk about, do, uh, you know, do, do write to me and I will talk about it. Okay. Get comfortable, sit on the edge of your cushion. And <clears throat> rock forward and backward, find your center. Okay. Do remember that when you are meditating and if you don't realize that you've been leaning too much to the front and it's causing a lot of num numbness and pain and you know, pins and needles on your thighs and your legs, just, you can just you know, rock backwards a little bit so that you don't put on the pressure too much. Okay. So once you find the center, chin down. Put your tongue up against the, your upper teeth. All right. You can put your again your hands on your thighs. <clears throat> I prefer this way. And we shall start with a 15 minute single pointed meditation. Relax your shoulders and sit up. Ready? Three, two, 
fun. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Visualize as you inhale all the white light, healing light, entering your body, filling up your entire body with this healing light. And breathe out all your stress, anxiety, boredom, restlessness in the form of black smoke. Breathe in. Focus on your nostril area. Fill every part of your body with this white healing light. Every cell of your body is tingling with the white healing light. part of your body is filled with the loving kindness and compassion. There's no room for darkness. Your entire attention on your nostril area. Watch every thought and bring back your attention. Watch your emotions and bring back your attention to the nostril.
three, two, one. We're done. So how did, how did, how does everyone feel today? Do share with me. I will read out my, what I wrote in my gratitude journal yesterday. I said that I'm grateful to have soaps and sanitizers. Um, I think this will be the new norm after the lockdown. Um, and I'm grateful to have YouTube so that I can keep myself abreast of COVID-19 situation. And I'm grateful to have probiotics. So what are you grateful for? Do share with me. We'd love to hear from all of you. And also, do let me know how your meditation was just now. Lai Hing says, lots of thoughts fleeting in and out. Yes. As we, as we go into the 15, 20 minute threshold, sometimes, you know, even all the way up to 30 minutes, you will notice that more thoughts may arise, more emotions may arise. It's okay. Let it all come out. Yeah. It will take a while for, for us to really just focus to, I mean, to, it'll, it'll, yeah, it'll take us a while for, for these thoughts and emotions to stop. Yeah. But it's okay. Just let it come out. Let it come out. Watch it. The key is to watch it and then focus back on the nostril area. Yeah, it's neither good nor bad. It's just doesn't matter. Just focus on the nostril area, and that's the key. Yeah, today I had a lot of thoughts coming out as well. And then when we were like almost towards the end, it kind of stopped. I noticed it stopped, and immediately um, I feel I started feeling very, very at peace and very calm. And then fifteen minutes was up, so. All right, so yeah, so all of us will, will, will go through different experiences. But thank you very much for sharing. Kok Luen says, um, good, better than yesterday. Slight strain on back nerve, but ignored it. Okay. Norman says, very tired and with body aches, but feeling great. Body aches. Okay. Grateful for sunshine, clean air, and love that I receive. Wonderful, Lai Hing. Halim says, grateful to be in the now. Yes, definitely. And um, feels shorter today. Had to, had to correct my posture a bit as my body got too relaxed. Thoughts are less today. Great. And Lily writes, I'm grateful to have happy childhood memories with my family that I enjoy looking back from time to time. Number two, I'm grateful to reside in a caring and sharing community, especially during this lockdown period. And number three, I'm grateful for the person who has hurt me but eventually led me to a wonderful group. Okay, that's wonderful. Tanwubi says, um, still feel numb but man managed to finish the 15 minutes. Uh, when, you, when you say you feel numb, is it, Wubi, are you referring to your, to your legs? If you are, just remember to just perhaps lean back a little bit so that there's less pressure because I, also, I noticed today that uh, in the midst of our meditation, I noticed that my legs were pretty tense. And when I relaxed it, everything was fine. Yeah. I guess because I was just leaning a little bit too much, just a little bit too much towards the front, and it kind of tends up. So we just have to be more aware of our body and just and adjust accordingly. Okay. Uh, let me see. Natasha, meditation took longer for me to get my thoughts under control this time but eventually relaxed. Gratitude, prepared meals to enable quick semi-homemade meal, the company of my dad, and the ability to have solitude and be at peace with it. Wonderful, Natasha. Thank you for sharing. Norman says, grateful for these morning sessions, grateful to have family with me during the lockdown, grateful to be healthy. Yes, health is very, very important. Without it, there's nothing much we can do. Ben, compared with yesterday's conditions, I can do more focusing on breathing on my nose and I can handle the numbness by a slight movement with my legs, 
put down from the chair with cushions. Okay, great. Thank you, Ben. Cochlear and Shaz, uh, gratitude cleaner rivers across the city, so better for fishes, grateful for food and shelter. Definitely. I can't wait to see our rivers, yeah? <laughs> to see how clean they are. Whoops. Uh, where am I? Norman, usually a lot of thoughts near to, near to the weekends. Oh, why is that? You have a lot of um, you have plans, projects in, in your house, uh, Norman. Karin says, interrupted by work in the, mid, in the beginning of the session and kept thinking about work during the session, managed to compose myself towards the end. It's okay. Yeah, a lot of things may arise. Like I say, every day we will have, we will be thinking about something and every day the meditation uh, experience would be different. It's fine. As long as we keep uh, controlling the mind back to the nostril area and that's fine and that's good enough. Uh, Melissa, hi Melissa, morning. Uh, grateful to be able to, to make some soaps for our less fortunate friends despite my low stock supply. These will go to the Kuchara organization. Thank you so much. I, I guess you're referring to our soup kitchen. Thank you very much. They de the poor definitely needs a lot of our support right now, yeah, because most of them um, earn daily wages and because of this lockdown, they don't have income at all and, and you know, they, they, they live by the day so they don't have savings. So definitely um, we are um, going all out to support them, Do it going all out, yeah? Emily Lau. Oh, you wrote in Chinese. I think you, I think you said that you feel that your body is hot. Okay. It's all right, observe it. Unless you feel that you are feeling that you have a little bit of fever, do go and see the doctor. Uh, Pastor Honey, I'm grateful for having, having done daily single pointed meditation sessions. Today, there was a sudden water cut at 8 a.m. in the midst of my breakfast. Glad I was able to handle that with peace and calm. That's wonderful, wonderful. Um, definitely, see Pastor Honey, now that we are doing, this is already our third week where we progress to 15 minutes and I'm not sure if you if if any one of you would start noticing that you actually have a much better control of your inner peace your calmness and no matter what happens how you feel because you really have that skill of focusing on your intention or focusing on your breath or whatever it is that you choose to focus on the uh, the feeling that arises will actually pass very, very quickly. I'm not sure if you have started experiencing that. Yeah, do share with me if you have. Uh, Lily says, today the first five minutes was quite a challenge. Left nostril still blocked, but eventually went more peaceful in the later period. A lot of thoughts, but mostly happy ones. Again, what, whether they are positive or negative thoughts, bring your focus back on the nostril area. Uh, waiting says, shoulder pain and thoughts, but able to focus back to breathing. Feel good. Great. Grateful for, and even if you're feeling good, yeah, waiting, that is the emotion. Again, bring your focus back on at your nostril area. Yeah, I, I hope you guys see what, what I'm, um, you understand what I'm trying to get at. Regardless of whether your, your emotions and thoughts are positive or negative, we still focus, bring the focus back to the nostril area. That's the key here. Pastor Antoinette, grateful for fresh air and nature sounds. Grateful to join this meditation. Thank you. Peg says, I can't hear. Uh, try, try turning up the uh, volume on your phone or the computer. Or like today with my tablet, for some reason I couldn't hear as well. So I had to restart my tablet and then the volume came back. Uh, let me see. Sharon, grateful to have the men in my house washing up after meals. <laughs> That's good. Grateful for the free online concerts by Big Stars. Grateful for social media as I got to reconnect with my friends from childhood. Great. Oh, Pax is okay, can hear. Great. Zinkoi, the worst thing is I remember the, back those memories that I've forgotten after my brain electric shock in 2002 due to a brain illness called Saguraga attacks. Okay, I've not heard of that. And some memories are those I don't want to remember back. It's all right. 
let it pass. So when it comes out, again, focus back on your nostrils. Focus back. So because perhaps you have, you may have suppressed it and kind of shelved it at the back of your subconscious mind, as we start to calm our mind, a lot of things will start to arise. Just allow it to come up and watch it go. Watch it go. Just, just let it come up and focus on the breath. Focus on the breath. No matter what thoughts arise, no matter what emotions may arise, focus on the nostril. It will, they will come, they will go. They will come, they will go. And when, once we, when we allow that process to happen, you will notice that even though you can still remember, even though you can still remember, the, the emotion that you attach to it will become less and less and less. And it's just like watching a movie at the end of the day. That, so that will take time. That will take time. That's why I say, instead of analyzing it and then go, ooh, that was a bad memory, oh. And putting energy towards it and react towards it, focus on the breathing, on the nostril. Just focus. And once, if you keep going at it, keep going at it, keep going at it, you will, it will become better and you will master it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, where is where am I now? Uh, yeah, so Zinkoi, I hope that helps. Waiting, great number one, grateful for able to get my car car handle fixed. Oh, okay. Grateful for having good siblings. Grateful for being healthy. Wonderful. And uh, Peg says, feel grateful that things are getting better. That's very good. Corinne, grateful that everyone I know is healthy and safe. Work has been a lot more busier during the MCO and grateful that I'm managing it well, definitely. Grateful to have great Dharma siblings always together and support each other. Christina, grateful to have so much time to look at things that we have brushed off to start, to rethink all over again, definitely. This is a time, especially during lockdown, to assess where our life is so far what works and what doesn't work. It's, might as well make, make use of the time, right? Because since we're under lockdown, let's make it beneficial for us. And Penny says, Hey JP, I feel it's more effective to go into meditation right away after completing nine rounds of breathing. Okay, apart from that, my lower body were, were heavy. Maybe it's me being able to nail deeper towards meditation this time. Again, uh, Penny, whatever you feel, again, doesn't matter. Watch it and go back to your breathing. Watch it and go back to your breathing. Yeah? So, a lot of things will arise for you as we, as we enter, you know, the, the, like this 15 minutes, 20 minutes, even 25 minutes um, of meditation. Once we enter into these longer periods of meditation, a lot of things will, will arise. And that's where we need to practice more control. It will become more challenging. It's okay. Because why? Now you know how to just focus back. It's just focus back, focus back, focus back. That is the key here. That's the key here. All right? Okay. So, um, let me answer two questions the, from yesterday and then I will talk about taking ownership. All right, this person says, you also said that we shouldn't overanalyze as that may make us quit in pursuing our goals. Well, for some people, we just can't help it. Maybe because we have been trained or conditioned in that way or naturally prone to it. But I believe some analyzing doesn't harm. How do we know that we overanalyze unnecessarily and sh should stop it at a certain point? Okay, that's a good question. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, well, first of all, um, analyzing 
it's, that's, it's good. It's good. So, I, what, I, what I was trying to say, and I think it was during the two episodes before, I said that there are some people who are paralyzed by just analyzing the situation, uh, trying to, having this notion that they have to figure out everything before they make a decision. So my point in that in that talk was that there's so much we can analyze after that take action take action would mean take the first step and take the next step and take the next step because if there's so much we can analyze and there's so much we can see of course the skill our skill of analyzing will improve over time due to our experience due to our experience but there are many people who are always stuck in just analyzing. Why? Because there's always, because instead of focusing on analyzing as a method to move forward and see what choices we are, uh, what choices there are in front of us, and understanding that no matter how much we analyze, there will be certain aspects of the situation where we will miss out because of our lack of awareness. So be, once we are okay with that, and we are also okay with, you know what, there is a chance that whatever choice we make, it may look like that, it, that is the best choice during that moment, but there is a chance that it's the wrong choice. You know what, and be okay with it. Because why? Once. Once a result comes in that does not show the results that, you, that, that you're looking for, then you know now that, okay, so that was not the right choice. Let's go to the next choice and the next choice. <coughs> Excuse me. So instead of labeling it as, oh, I failed, we label it as just in, in, you know, with neutrality, whereby you say, okay, so that doesn't work. So, again, train ourselves to think this works, this doesn't work, this works, this doesn't work. Next, 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 next. It's more positive, it's more constructive. It's more, yeah? So that's what I'm talking about. So when do you know whether or not you're overanalyzing? Well, check. Are you closer to achieving the results at hand? Are you closer to, to accomplishing the task at hand? Are you? Or are you still sitting on it? Because again, you're operating from fear. Fear of what? Failing. Failing. And even the word failing has an emotional tie to it. You see? So when we attach an emotion to a result, that's where, some, that's where a lot of times we start to paralyze ourselves. And at the end of the day, nothing happens. It was just a lot of analysis. I hope that makes sense. And you always mentioned about operating out of creation. Is it creation? What creation are you referring to? Um, is it creation? Yes, it is creation. Creation in the sense that what I'm referring to is this. Creation means always is to be moving on is to be taking action with fulfilling our intention for the day because there's so much we can think there's so much we can uh, just sit on it and procrastinate and whatever it is so if when we have a clear intention we will choose to consciously focus on that intention because why? And that will actually be more constructive for us. More constructive. Why? Because a lot of times we are focused on the fear. The fear of what? The fear of failing. And whatever your conversations may be, your relationships of failure may be. So focusing on the intention and getting things done towards intention it's, a, it's being in creation. 
And all that comes from love. Because love, where love resides, fear cannot exist. Where love resides, fear cannot exist. So, that's what I mean by creation, whereby you actually, you're actually moving steps, taking baby steps towards achieving your intention. The fear will, will be there because we are not that evolved yet, because we have not gone into, we have not delved into understanding where that fear arises. We will do that later. Once we start going down, going deep into the, into the fear that is in us naturally, as Halim said in one of the sessions, is, is actually false because what, what, did you, what did you say? FEAR stands for? It's an acronym for, for something, uh, Halim, that you shared. Yeah, exactly. So it is something that is conjured, that it is um, made up in our mind. It's all made up. It's a, it's a self-inflicted emotion. It actually does not exist. It does not exist. Yeah? So again... It, to be in creation is what helps is you see these are all big words so how do we put it how do we relate it in our daily lives which is exactly what I said focus on the intention you see how powerful it is when we focus on the intention because otherwise our mind will be out of will be totally out of control and we'll go back to our natural self and what, and what is that focus on the fear the insecurity you know, beating up ourselves, always saying that we're not good enough, and so on and so forth. We're very good with beating up ourselves and limiting ourselves and, and, and protecting ourselves because we do not want to be hurt emotionally, mentally, and physically anymore. But of course, yes, physically, I'm not saying that you should jump out of the building. No, I'm just saying, take a, take a good look. Of course, if you're in a relationship or in a situation whereby you can physically be hurt, get out of the situation. That's for sure. No one deserves to be physically uh, abused and no one deserves to, uh, to be mentally or even emotionally abused. Those situations are unhealthy and it is beyond normal people like us. It's beyond us. No matter how much love and compassion we, we try to, 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 to practice, that is way beyond us. And that needs professional intervention. Professional intervention, definitely. So going back to, to creation, yes, that's what I mean. I'm not, meaning, I'm not saying creation as in God the Creator. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about us making a conscious effort to fulfill the intentions at hand. So step by step by step. You see, in the beginning of, of, the, of this meditation session that we share with each other every morning, my intention is what? Is to bring everybody towards a, you know, adopting this new lifestyle of, of just meditating on a daily basis. And I started with just five minutes, then we graduated with 10 minutes. So my intention was that. So what was my method? Well, let's start with five minutes. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, we gradually progress so that we can fulfill that intention. And when we do it on a daily basis, again, it creates a new habit in, in us. It instills a new habit in us to do this on a daily basis. So that after the lockdown is over, we will still do it. Because why? Well, because we experience benefits from it. And it's going to be a lot of work to catch up. So we might as well hone the mind right now as we are under lockdown. Hone it. Train it. So once we're out there again, no matter how busy and chaotic the world may be outside because everybody's trying to catch up, you will, you will have the tools to have a calm mind and you watch things Take a step back, watch things happen, and then focus on your intention of what it is that you want to handle for the day. And you will also notice that 
you have a much you have a much better grasp at multitasking. Yeah, some some of us actually have. Uh, find it very challenging to to multitask, and you get all all flust, you know, all flustered and stressed out. You will notice that you can actually handle situations much more effectively. All right, so I hope that helps. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I'm done with those questions, and th there's a question here from Kokduen. Can you elaborate a little more about attaching emo emotions to results of our work? I think this type of attachment is what most of us are not mindful about. I'm recollecting from your earlier sharing on attachment. Yes, I can do that. Hmm, looks like I won't be able to talk about taking ownership today. It's fine. I will talk about it tomorrow. We have plenty of time. <laughs> All right, so... Um, Attaching emotions to results of our work. Now, let's be honest here. Hum, we are fully aware of how much efforts we put into our work. We are fully aware. It's just a matter of whether or not we want to face up to it. Do we go 100%? Oh, was it, what was it just? Oh, let me just swing it. You know, I'm really good at swinging it and you know what? I want to have a balanced lifestyle. So I'll swing it. And, my, and, and as long as my boss is happy with it, I'm good. I'm good. So, again, so you know, it's, we have to be brutally honest with ourselves. And for some of us, no, we did go 100%. Yes, that was my 100%. And perhaps the results didn't show or the results wasn't as favorable as how we would like it to be. Even though we've gone, we've worked on it 100%. You see, but that is our 100%. My 100% is going to be, it's going to be different from your 100% in a way that the results will be different. Some people are more talented and a lot faster. Some people are a lot slower. It doesn't matter. So, when, when we have put in the 100% or whatever percent that you put in, but let's say, let's, let's say, 100%. And the results are not as favorable as you would like. And we tend to go, oh, again, the very automatic self, oh, am I not good enough? So when there's a conversation of, am I not good enough? Or I feel like a failure. Instead of focusing on those, wouldn't it be better if you focus on, okay, so what, what, was, what, what did I miss out? What did I miss out? What did I miss out? You see, as, because we have not, uh, when we do not put in a conscious effort to raise our awareness, to train our mind, to increase that level of, of awareness, we will find ourselves being stuck in some paradigm. It's always stuck. It's like, but I don't see it. I don't see it. And then your boss or somebody comes on and says, you see, it should have been done like that. Oh, why is it that I didn't see it? It's no why. It's just that because our, our level of awareness is not there yet. So the good news is, of course you can increase your level of awareness. How? Meditation. Meditation is one of the most effective way to increase our level of awareness. There are many, many other ways. Some people... Uh, increase it through life because you know their life is dependent on the job so they have no choice but to push themselves and look and check look and check and look and check and look and check to a point that over time they're a lot sharper it's, so what I'm trying to say is, is because of, of, the, of certain conditions that they push themselves because to them it's a matter of life or death so they put in all the effort and all the energy to look at that task at hand and look what else they can do to make it better. Yeah? So, well, we don't have to put ourselves in those, in those situations. What we can do is meditate. Meditate. And once we, once we have a much uh, better grasp of our mind, you will start to notice that you will see little, little things 
that you usually do not see. It's because you're putting, you've learned to put 100% or close to it of your energy on focusing on that one thing at hand. And then you go, oh, okay, I see it now. And that's the good news. Yeah, so coming back to what you're saying is, yes, we always attach our emotions to it because that is our automatic self. That is our automatic self. So once you, once you attach it, again, watch it, watch it, and, and instead of focusing on that attachment, whatever that emotion may be, whether it is happiness or sadness, positive or negative, just watch it. Watch it. Focus what you have at hand to fulfill the intention. Okay? Watch it. Even if it is positive, watch it. Be careful. Because why? Because if we always attach a feeling of happiness, because why? Somebody approved. They approved my work. We will train our mind to always attach that emotion to the work. And, when, and, once the wor- and for whatever reason in the future, if whatever work you do is rejected, automatically because it's rejected, your mind goes, oh, I feel unhappy, I'm down, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this. So in higher meditations, we learn to not attach our emotions towards it. What's, what is more important is the intention. Have I fulfilled my intention? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Make it very neutral. Make it very neutral. So that when, so that when you don't fulfill the result that you wish to fulfill, you will not, your mind will not automatically react negatively. Yeah, I'm not saying that you become indifferent. I'm just saying be aware. Just notice it. Notice it. Okay, notice it. And of course, when we have, when we have mastered the art of watching our emotions, <clears throat> we can let them arise, but they will never drown us. They will never take over us. They will never take control of us. We will no longer be driven by emotions. We experience the experience, but, but we are not driven by the emotions. We are not driven by the experience. And that is the key here. I hope that, I hope that makes sense. Okay, I would love to elaborate more on that. If you would like me to elaborate more on that tomorrow, drop me a note and I'll, and I'll do that. Yeah, it's a bit deep, but slowly we will take baby steps and I'll explain more. So as we progress uh, with the controlling of the mind, I will slowly go deeper and dissect the emotions for, for everyone's sake. And because now that we have a better focus, we will be able to go deeper and deeper and deeper and it will start to make sense uh, with you. And you will see the fine line of how to differentiate from one thing to another. I hope that makes sense. Okay, I'm very sorry I didn't get to talk about taking ownership. Um, I will try to do that tomorrow. So we'll have to change our uh, caption for today. So today is again a continuation of the uh, Q&A. All right, so everybody, so everybody have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow morning, 8.30 sharp, Malaysian time. And for those of you who missed my paranormal sharing last night at, yes, it's a commercial break. Because Pastor and I is like making faces. It's a commercial break. So if you like to listen to paranormal, like t- uh, paranormal stories, you can always, uh, what do you call it? Uh, well, watch what was recorded last night, okay? So, yes, it's under Tam Rinpoche Paranormal Zone fan page. If you can't find it, just drop me a note and I will forward you the link. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.